navigate to the browser and go to github and then type in my name Boga B U G A. Here you find Castlevania ISM patches. Download the file somewhere on your drive where you can find them. After downloading, unpack, extract files. Or here if the folder is empty. In your case, or it was in a folder anyway. If you li like to read the instructions how to go about, there is a brief explanation just above about the tools used and what you could run into. If you patch it, and you get these errors. If you haven't dropped the, your ROM in there, this might be the problem. So you grab your Castlevania free ROM and copy them in here and check that it is named as you see here. If you're not sure how to name it, in the MakePy, you could change the name if you want to name it differently. And here we'll also find that it will patch from the main ASM. But you, if you name the file, you don't have to do this edit. Once the ROM is in here, you can theory patch it and it should go through. You should find a patched ROM in here. We like to look at what is actually patched, and we see that in the main ASM, ASM. And for right now, the enable mods it will make a special high check that enables multiple patch to be dropped in individually. If you disable this all these mods you save the file and you patch it the files will be the same if we compare them you can say it's the same file if we would enable the high check and patch it. If you compare the files now you will see that there is this thing in here. We are interested in just patching the expansion. I think this is all that's needed. If you like to edit what's in here, this the graphics and screens. If you look at the file, there are the files for the NA itself, the CHR plus the name table file. And it will grab the files from here and patch it into the ROM. The CHR is just all the graphics too. So let's open NA. And in now we like to open our file we just downloaded. It should be you should have put it on a place where you find it. I call it test. In the graphics GFX folder there is screens and we take the name screen as an example. And in now I will um just edit the screen very quick. If you select, press copy, you can make a broader selection. Just draw over it as you like. Just 
I don't try to do make uh, anything pretty. Just so it's different. Just like to have other attributes very quick. Show that off. Maybe some green. Looks beautiful, doesn't it? If we would be happy with our results, we could uh, save the project too. But right now I'm just interested in exporting. I will export as binary to patch it in. The other options are not used right now. Export and we like to save it as num in a directory. It will go to the old directory, so we need to be careful that you're on the right path. Like here, it did choose my old one. Go to my download. and save it, override it. After this is done, we navigate to folder, patch it and test it out. Uh, testing here you have options for test we just enabled the graphics thing now you could go into the file and see what it does in expands and you see it will actually patch all the graphic stuff if um, GFX patching is enabled to but for example, it will not do that one. But it will include the screens as um, If you're curious what it does, you would open it and you see it will override the old locations and put it on the new bank. If it's expanded, it can um, put all the screens on, on a new bank and uh, uncompressed. And there is a special loader that just loads the graphics uncompressed. That's more or less how it works. But you just need to know about the main awesome to enable and disable stuff. Another cool thing, if I'm in here, I enable the mods, so I have the hijacks. I need SRAM, it will be described here, and then I could actually have level selects or cheats. And I save it. I can patch it. The nice thing about patching is it will never override the original file you were editing. You can have a backup somewhere else. But then you can very quickly and here we have uh, press start and select. I can navigate around the world like this. If I have pause and press B, I can also. So that's all. If you have questions, drop them below and I may make more videos like this.